It's like you're in a snow globe. There's a lot of that blowing snow around, and you see it wispy on the ground. Well, if a car drives over one of those wisps, it can create a little traction issue where you have a little, you know, pack down snow that becomes ice on that road. And if the road has not been treated, uh, it makes it difficult, makes the uh, road become a bit slick. So that's going to be an issue here. It's not widespread, but it's slick in spots. So you do want to take uh, care and be careful out there this morning. Trackers getting up and out this morning. Worst problems are in northwest Oklahoma, where Val and Marty are. We'll check in with them here coming up in just a little bit. But we have uh, kind of the final gasp of this winter storm over Oklahoma right now, where we have snow moving through uh, the central part of the state right now. It's kind of tracking on to the east. The heaviest snow tracking right through Oklahoma City, now moving over to the eastern sides of the metro. And again, this is combined with some very high winds. You might have noticed the winds up overnight rattling those trees against your window pane or maybe something blowing outside that's not you don't, don't typically hear. So a lot of wind is combined with the snow, and that creates, like uh, Addie had mentioned, kind of some turbulent type situations here out the door this morning. Snow continues in northwest Oklahoma, although it is starting to wind down. Winter advisories continue across the northern part of the state where we've had that snow, blowing snow and higher drifts. So here's kind of the big picture. Storm is now east of Oklahoma, snow from Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, on up into the north and east. While the southeast is getting ready to go for severe weather and uh, some powerful storms possible in the deep south here coming up for today. So the storm now starting to track away. That moves on out. We'll track our next storm. This comes in on Thursday. That'll start bringing that colder Arctic air our way by Friday. Here's some of the snowfall totals. Again, they're not extreme. You know, four, five inches of snow is not too bad, but you combine that with wind gusts uh, late yesterday and overnight, you know, 50, 60 miles per hour. There are some bigger drifts, and we'll have Marty and Hank, or Marty and uh, and uh, Val on that here coming up. Hank will be up in a little bit, and we'll show you some of his uh, uh, views here coming up in just a little bit. The most, the most of the snow in Oklahoma City has been light, which you can see maybe about a quarter of an inch of snow that's popped up here in just the last hour. You combine that with a lot of wind, it, it's all blowing around. So we've got uh, that snow and the blowing snow being the issues right now. Here are the max wind gusts so far today. There are a lot of gusts up over 50 miles per hour, even a gust of 60 in Lawton. Here in the central part of the state, 40, 50 mile per hour gusts have been the story overnight and it was gust to 63 miles per hour yesterday and that has created some power outages in the far northwest part of the state. But look at the, the visibilities now. Zero near Cherokee. Alva, Enid one mile. Ponca, you've now dropped to one mile. Stillwater, you're at uh, two miles. Oklahoma City has been down around two miles for a while. So that's all the snow creating those lowered visibilities. It's some tough driving up here in the northern part of the state with all that snow going on there. So the blowing snow is reducing visibilities. Also, the snow all on the ground, although maybe light, is creating some slick travel, slick spots. Central Oklahoma, worse conditions continue up in the Panhandle where there are many roads closed, a lot of schools closed up that way as well. So the rest of today, uh, really will be this morning. Snow chances continue, especially moving into eastern parts of the state, where there'll be some spots that do pick up close to one inch of snowfall. And you can see some of that snow that's fallen uh, it kind of in the cracks and on a few of those areas here out the door this morning. Boy, real cold right now. Wind chill at 10. So here's your temps, 20s. Here's that snow. Got gusts still up in the 30, 40, 50 mile per hour range. And that drops those wind chills down around 10 degrees. Really cold out there for the metro this morning. 20s, 30s, near 40 today. The skies clear out. We'll see more sunshine going into the afternoon. Around the state right now, 20s and 30s are the rule. And again, the winds are very gusty, 30, 40, up to close to 50 mile per hour gusts continue this morning, and those wind chills are really bitter. And watch out, because this is going to be a story going into the weekend and next week as more bitter air builds on in. But the trend will be between now and, say, Thursday, we actually should warm back up. This next batch, big batch of Arctic air, is headed south, and that's going to set up about a five-day period of some extremely cold weather starting on Friday, and that'll take us into Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so we're watching some really cold air coming our way early next week. 
30s and 40s for today. We'll drop it down into 20s and 30s overnight tonight and then look for those highs tomorrow back up in the 40s and the 50s. We'll watch some showers Thursday evening, maybe a little snow coming in Thursday night into early Friday. So we'll be monitoring that here coming our way. That'll be the next round of snow. And then one more chance comes in, maybe a bigger winter storm by early next week, Sunday into Monday with some pipe bursting temps on the way. That's the look at your nine day forecast. We'll be right back.